Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, hopefully I'm more dressed. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things that there are going to be some official changes. One being I am going to college about once one day a week. Um, I know I said I wanted to do um, nails and hairdressing but for now um, I also want to do basically sewing, text, textile and making outfits and the reason I want to do that is because I'm quite a creative person and that lot and I love fashion and it's something that's always intrigued me just like hair's always interested me and um, nails and stuff have interested me. Um, I applied roughly and I'm just waiting on approval. Excuse me. Another thing that I'm doing and that is staying is my curls. I have been loving this new technique and I have found out that there's more and more techniques out there to try to help revive my curly hair and as you guys can see it's working I mean can you see these spirals especially this piece oh, yes. these pieces look at them they are turning into official ringlets and I'm curious to see what else I can do and as you guys can see more and more is happening and that's around my head the back is a bit flat today because I need to reapply my products I am considering adding a bit of mousse but then again I don't really want to do that at the moment because my hair is thriving without it but the curls are staying. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I've just brought extensions. I already know. But I'm going to save those for a rainy day for when my hair is of when I, when I decide to use a little bit of heat now and then. It, they're not wasted, they're just ready, they're ready waiting for me. Now I still have a few ideas that's coming in the next month to two months before Christmas. I'm getting a new vanity desk and you guys are going to be staying here and my vanity desk, desk is going to be here. I'm also going to be having a small little plastic cabinet here to hold my heated rollers that are on their way and my foxy locks curling one because the box is so damaged that it needs to be in something um, and I'm also on about getting some acrylics done this time this week on Thursdays to be exact. So this makes me so gassa. Um, there's that. Um, my hair care my hair care has changed. I mean, I did a curl smith bond treatment, and it's helped my hair spring up. Just a ta oh, there was a spiral in there. Just a little bit of a spiral. But my hair is, it's just thriving. It looks hell fair. And this is a different technique of when I used to use styling mousses and stuff. That didn't really work out the best for me. But this technique has really helped and as well as diffusing my hair daily, yeah, it's added heat damage to the heat damage I already have. But if you guys can see, doing that and doing this technique is really, really helping my hair get more defined. Um, the straight hair, um, it's not going to be coming back for a good while. 
I want to play around with different techniques. Um, as for the gender clinic, um, they've been in touch about my laser hair removal. I had to contact this place because it wasn't explained to me that um, you have, if you're having problems, you get to ring this number um, or email them. So I emailed them and they've been contacting the place that I want to go to, which is down the road from where I am. They're contacting them tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, Wolfie. Um, and if they can't get in contact, we're going to be coming up with a solution to get me laser hair removal to get this officially done because I keep coming out and so much acne it's doing my head in as you guys can see but the thing is that's on the cards roughly it's starting hopefully back up to the point where I can actually get somewhere this year transition wise um, not much has changed my hips may be a bit wider, but not all that much. The chain, big, big, big changes won't be coming until even next year, which is my hips and my butt. Like proper, proper kicking in. Um, I don't know if it's... I think it's next year will be my breasts fully, fully form. But this is... That's it. This is what we've got. It's not much, I'm still a big cop, but um, the problem is, is with breast like transgender breasts is the nipple placement. My nipples are to the side and regular women's are in the middle. But I don't know what's to come in the next couple of years. One second, this is about my heated rollers. But there's those changes. I know some of you might probably don't want to see my breasts, but you're not really going to see them because of the lighting. But a lot's a, a lot I want changing this year. It's like my curls. This was actually more sprunger, but for some reason today it's a bit more flat. I think it's because it needs um, my cur um, curling cream. But the thing is, is she, I watched a video on YouTube where this girl was talking about, she's a transgender woman by the way, she's talking about how she's lost a mum and how life sucks and that's one of the reasons I want to do this about my natural curly hair. My curls are inherited. These are basically the ones that's my mum's. Hopefully, my mum's given me this. And most of you know that she recently had a stroke and a blood clot in the brain, and we could have lost her. And I want a little bit of something always remember her by obviously I love my mum was but um my mum's fine by the way we well, fully recovered but strokes always leave something behind she's got tingling in her hands she can't hold cuts properly and her balance is off 
so she can't go a long distance with that without a walking cane. But you never know what life's going to throw at you. You could be fine one day, the next day you're not so fine. The same thing happened to my mum. And like this girl was talking about, she says, my mum was fine one day and then the next day, what we either got the call, the, call, the mum died. And granted, with the parents, it can be a little bit annoying, just like we can as kids. Uh, I love my mum. And having a little bit of something, because she's always asking that, that she really wishes one of us could embrace that I'm actually currently here. I wear my hair mostly like this, but um, that's one of the reasons, and I want to do more with my life, because I've been caring for people God, for a good while, I looked up to my gran, uh, nearly four, maybe four, maybe it was getting on for four years, it may be even going on for five, I don't remember. And then I had to look after my mother. Um, personal reasons. And that, oh, and that does weigh hard on you. And I was talking to my auntie a couple of days ago when she came round. And we were talking about how my, what happened with the day my mum had the stroke. And like I told her, I'm never going to get over that day because it happened in front of me. Just like how I'm never going to forget when my gran had to stroke. Because it was in our living room and my mum had to stroke downstairs in the same place. So that's always going to be in the back of my mind. It's never going to go away. It's something that's going to stay in my mind. And I even told her, I said, there's days where I want to be left alone. Because it, um, it just automatically comes in my mind. And I relive that day quite a few times. Because the day before, me and my mum argued. And it was about cleaning because our house isn't really dirty but the thing is my mum she got I swear she got bad OCD but um that wasn't god awfully and that's why I can't forget that time as well trying to get an appointment with the doctor was impossible dentist as well with the doctors were mainly wanting people that are paying for their services um but that was a setback but it was also a joke as well because once my mum was released from the hospital this is where communication doesn't come in handy when it comes to doctors and hospitals um, they didn't know my mum had a stroke even though they were sent the information and they were requesting my mum to come in and I basically told them you're too fucking late and they were like what's happened and then I told them and they went but she needs to come in and um, this was just after she had a stroke but um I'm never going to be able to get things like that out of my mind I'm not going to be able to forget what the carers did to me and my mum I'm not going to be able to forget the arguments we had over my gran I'm not going to be able to forget what family did to me as one when it came to my nana I wasn't a proper, proper carer I was just a care assistant I took on that role because I wanted to for the experience and because I knew I could help my gran and people say strokes bring people to together they didn't with my gran it brought us together a little bit but we drifted apart, drifted apart, drifted apart. But when my mum had the stroke, we all came together and we've stayed together and we still talk about it. 
my mum fully recovered through determination not to be like my gran. My gran gave up and she can't talk, she can't even walk, she can't move her arm, she can't move her leg. And with my mum, she can do all of that, but at a price. Obviously, she can walk, but her balance is off when she goes long distances, so she'll end up wobbling and she could lose her balance at any time. Um, she can't hold cups properly and um, she gets tingling in her arm and her arm can be cold sometimes. That's what happens when you have a stroke is your arm is like completely cold. It's like the circulation completely cuts off. But it's that. And like I said, it's all these things I'm not going to get over with because not long after that, my gran ended up in the hospital and she nearly died. Due to an infection, the carers that are looking after her kept putting off. And not long after that, my sister and her three kids were in a house fire where the house fire um, was in the kitchen and it was near a gas pipe. Mm -hmm. So, um, shit's been going down this year and my two favourite times of the year is Halloween and Christmas and you think they'd be the most joyous of times for us or for me it's really not because Halloween is my granddad's birthday no it's the day he died actually he died on Halloween and um the 18th of December, if I'm getting this right, near Christmas, is my auntie's birthday. And um, she died when I was nine years old. So, we don't look forward to Christmas a lot, or think, but I try to make it as happy of a place as I can, but it never works. And that little bit thing, I do try to do my best. But, um, something's got to change this year, and I'm hoping that I get my laser hair removal. Um, a lot of you most probably are not going to be liking the fact that I'm going to be embracing my curly hair once again but I need to do this I am forcing myself to do this because yes I am seeing results now mainly in the roots and as you guys can see it's happening in a lot of my areas in my hair where there are actual spirals but I need to do this for me and as a constant reminder of what my mum has given me. Um, but this year is going to mark a lot of changes and a lot of good things to come despite what's coming. And I hope you guys are ready for some fun videos and a lot of videos where I am going to be talking to you.